For Luca Chande, every day is a struggle, not just to stay safe from harmful radiation from the sun, but to also fight against superstitions and violence targeting people like him in the country. In Tanzania, myths and misconceptions about albinism run deep, leading to discrimination and even brutal attacks. According to the Tanzanian Albinism Society, body parts of individuals with albinism are highly sought after for use in witchcraft, believed to bring wealth and luck. It's a misplaced and false belief that continues to endanger the lives of many people with albinism in the country. I live in sheer terror. When I sleep, I am not comfortable. When I hear a knock at the door, I get filled with fear. My confidence to walk around like a Tanzanian has been diminished because of the acts done to people like me. People with albinism have long faced unimaginable challenges here. Five of the Chande family members have albinism, so finding employment has been a challenge. Despite this, they put on a united front. They say this is not the case for their neighbors who also have children with albinism. But the parents have resorted to hiding their children indoors after being shamed by society. In Tanzania, where the albino population is estimated to be around 16,000 individuals, there has been a troubling trend of murders and disappearances targeting those with albinism. According to a report, 75 albinos were reported killed between 2000 and 2016 in the country. The government, in response to international outrage and local advocacy, is drafting a national master plan aimed at ending the atrocities against this vulnerable group. Through the National Action Plan for Persons with Albinism in Tanzania, we will break down all the needs of people with albinism. For instance, in education it will say by a certain year a certain number of people with albinism have to have reached an education of a certain level. That's the meaning of a national campaign. Or by this time, a certain number of people with albinism have to be employed depending on their professions. In recent years, the number of such violent episodes have dropped, with no cases being reported in 2023, according to the Legal and Human Rights Center 2023 report. However, the report also shows that the albino community in some Tanzanian regions continues to live in fear. June saw a series of more than three abductions and murders of individuals with albinism in the country. Persons with albinism need to know when these things will end so we can live in peace in this country. Experts say education plays a pivotal role in the fight against stigma, with schools incorporating lessons of albinism to foster a culture of acceptance from a young age. The journey towards acceptance and security is a collective effort. Across Tanzania, families, activists and the government are coming together to rewrite the narrative for people with albinism. Daniel Kijo, CGTN, Dar es Salaam.